In this film we will share the method called values clarification. It is highly interactive and has the purpose to present different values in the group, not only by verbalizing and discussing, but to show with your body and move according to what you believe in, using a circle of chairs, the four corners of the room or other visual signs in the room. The base is a set of prepared statements chosen on a theme or topic. The statements are of general nature and not personal, but your response is personal. In some cases we tell a story and you have to decide how to proceed if you were a part of the story. Important to note is that no one is judged for their responses and no one should convince the others. But it is totally accepted to change your own mind. In this film we will present five strategies with the theme violence and favoritism. They are the hot seat, the four corners, yes, no, maybe, line of agreement and unfinished sentences. The method can be used separately or as a preparation for a role play session or an interactive drama. and Mike. Today we will be talking on uh, favoritism and violence. Are they linked or not? And we will be having answer questions and answer sessions, which will be directed by these four. So to start, who can define violence? An aggressive action. An aggressive action. Anyone else? It's a behavior that shows uh, Some situations forces us to act with violence. Yes. Okay, Natasha, why do you think that some situation forces you to act with violence? It can be that the person has resisted the violence for uh, long and his point of resistance has come to low and he can no more resist violence and has made him violent. Thank you. Boys and girls commit similar level of violence. No, no, no. Kushal, why do you think that boys and girls don't commit the same level of violence? I don't think so because it depends on the family, background and everything. And due to the their sex, female and male, they don't act the same. So you don't think it's based on gender? No, it's it comes from the family. Yes. Okay, thank you. Why, why do you think so? Actually, uh, for me, I think boys are more aggressive, so they are more violent in, by nature, and girls, uh, they will not be that violent like... So, so you think that boys commit more violence than girls? They are more violent than girls. Okay, thank you everyone. We can go back to neutral position. Favoritism occurs more at school than in other places of work. No. Vandana, why do you think so? No. I think that uh, in some schools uh, it happens, but not necessarily <coughs> only at school. 
it happens in other places as well, like in the family, in other places, uh, social gathering, or even um, uh, at work. Thank you. Cindy? Uh, yes, as Vandana said, it's not only at school, because, or at work, it depends in any situation. All right, thank you everyone. Parents are the reason why children become violent. Because uh, research has been uh, proved that it's not only the parent are responsible, it can happen that friends, media, and uh, social background can contribute for a students or a, a child to be aggressive. Okay, thank you, Cindy. Violence can be controlled over time. Yes. Noila, why do you think that violence can be controlled? Uh, with time, the person uh, uh, gets uh, uh, get control over his anger. He decided to they can use this ex these bad experiences and uh, control their uh, anger, their vi their violence, and do good action. Thank you. All children enjoy being favored by the teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Swati, why do you think yes? Because uh, by nature, children uh, like to be pampered at home and uh, everywhere. So in school also, they like to be favored. Thank you. And uh, Sabine, why do you think uh, Because we like to be pampered, but not ne necessarily favored. We could just, as a student, we could just be uh, looking for respect and to be treated equally. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Most schools allow favoritism. No. Yeah. Yeah. Vandana, why do you think no? management and the school staff. It might happen, there are very few cases which I have experienced, but uh, there's favoritism, but overall uh, they, they do not, uh, they do not um, promote it at school. Thank you. And Noina, what do you think maybe? Maybe it depends upon the school culture. If the situation in the class the teacher likes, uh, has, has this uh, manners, this uh, the teacher used to do this, so he or she will favor the students. Otherwise, uh, it depends. I don't think it is necessary. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Tom beats Johnny with a stick on his hand. Johnny reports the matter to the teacher. The teacher tells Johnny that actions will be taken against Tom. However, the teacher does not punish Tom because he knows his parents and they share a good relationship. What should have been done? First corner, teacher punishes Tom. Second corner, teacher reports the matter to the headmaster. Third corner, Johnny reports the matter to his parents. And the fourth corner is the open corner. chosen the first corner. Uh, Cindy, can you please answer? As a, as a teacher, I should be faithful to my job. And in this extract, you say that the teacher has already said to that boy that the, the other one will be punished. So I have to be faithful also in my words. It's not the matter that I am a friend with her, his 
uh, parent, I have a good relationship, I have my job, so I have to be straightforward when I'm doing anything because it's depend, uh, it's re really related to my authority in, in the class. Okay. okay, so why have you all chosen the second corner? Natasha, can you please tell me? In the first place, Johnny has already reported the matter to his teacher. But as the teacher is favouring Tom, he has no option left than to report the matter to the headmaster. And secondly, as this has happened in the school premises, it is the best option to report to the headmaster. Okay. And the third corner, why have you chosen the third corner? Sabine, can you please uh, tell me? Okay, uh, so the student has already uh, escalated the matter to the teacher and to escalate it to the headmaster, uh, because the teacher didn't do anything, to escalate it to the headmaster, they should again go to the teacher. So that's why the next best option would be the parents. Okay, and you now you have something to add? I think because the teacher, uh, the student is mo more close to his parents, so uh, he should uh, tell the parents about this matter and let their parents deal with this matter. And here I can see no one has chosen the open corner. Thank you. Some changes because of situation like there's drugs and family problems also. Okay, thank you. And uh, Cindy, why do you think violence grows with age? Yes, because if I compare, if I compare a child, an adolescent, and a, an adult, I I think that yes, aggressiveness uh, uh, increase depending on the age, on the maturity, on the way of thinking and on the, on the way of behaving. Okay, thank you. And Sabine, what do you think uh, it does not grow with age? Um, I think uh, it grows with bad life experiences, not necessarily with age. Okay, thank you. Can you to your Favoritism can be justified, yes, no, or maybe. student is of low ability and another one is of high ability so it's no uh, it's it's normal that the teacher will favor the one who is a high ability gives uh, low uh, favor the low ability uh, the teacher will give the students more love more care more affection since he is of low ability so that he can uh, rise make him rise in his in his studies, in his ability to perform well at school. Okay, thank you. Um, Vandana? Um, it may happen, but in a class, there is a child who is physically handicapped or has any uh, physical impairment, so it is normal, but uh, in this case, the teacher will give more time uh, to that specific child, uh, so 
it might happen, but everybody considers it as a favor to that uh, child who has this impairment. Okay, thank you. And uh, Natasha, what do you think that favor why do you think that favoritism cannot be justified? Well, uh, it has to have a reason why a person has to favor another person. It might be because of status, money, uh, family, but uh, appearance. But I think that favor favoritism is not a good thing. Okay, thank you. You can go back to your place. Girls are more favored than boys at school. Okay, so Marina, why do you think girls are not fav more favored than boys? I think it depends on the situation. Some place, in some places, uh, boys are more intelligent. Uh, and then more favored, they are more favored. It depends also on the appearance. It depends upon the situation. While in other cases, girls can be more favored. It depends on the teachers also. Okay, so. okay thank you. And uh, Vandana, why maybe? Same like Lumina said. Uh, it depends on the situation. Uh, sometimes uh, due to the girl's physical nature, uh, they might attract uh, favoritism compared to boys. Uh, that's it. Okay, thank you. Favoritism leads to more violence at school. Number one, strongly agree. Number two, moderately agree. Number three, agree. Number four, disagree. Number five, moderately disagree. And number six, strongly agree. Okay, Cindy, so why do you say you moderately agree? Because I'm, uh, I'm referring to my personal experience at school. Like, for example, a teacher used to favor someone and that ha has created an enmity with another person that is his classmate. <laughs> Why I tell that I d disagree partly because the teacher has intervened. So that reaction was taken under control. And uh, Natasha, why do you say you disagree to this statement? Well, if uh, the child has a violent character, if he's violent in nature, even favoritism cannot stop him. Can I make a difference? A difference, yes. Okay. And he will, he will always be violent. Okay. So I don't think that favoritism is a cause for violence. Okay. And Hesha, do you have something else to say? No, same thing. If the child is, a, if he's a calm child, even if others are being favored, there won't be any difference on him. Okay. Okay. And uh, Norina, why do you say you moderately disagree with this statement? I think that favor favoritism is not the only factor that will cause violence among students. There may be other factors that will cause violence. So favoritism is only one thing. So I'm moderately disagree. Okay. So you have something else to say? Thank you. Violence can cause. Natasha? Emotional damage to the person. Cindy? Division. Norina? Family breakdown. Yushra? A stressful life. Sabine? Destruction. Wanana? Death. Esha? Destruction of a family. Okay, thank you everyone. Again, okay. thank you. So, now that we have reached the end of this values qualification session, and we are done with all the five techniques, 
to clear our mind on the violence and favoritism. I can say that now you know, depending on situations, violence can be applied or not. We can deal with the situation with violence and we can deal with it more maturely, as said by some of you. And for favoritism also, in the beginning he said no, favoritism and violence are not linked, as said by Nisha. But in the values qualification session, we saw that how, when someone is being favored, it can lead to a violence act. I hope that this values qualification session like clarified your ideas about violence and favoritism. Have you all had a nice time? Yeah. Yeah.